What, fool? What's up, YouTube? I want to thank everybody for tuning in. And I will also like to say, please like and subscribe, share, do all of those good things. Because when y'all do that, you know, it brings attention to your girl. Anywho, I want to, first I got first I got to explain something. I was sent an email about if I ever had a regular job because I'm always talking about me being a sex worker. And um, to answer this person's uh, email, yes, I have had reg regular jobs and I am going to do a various, um, I'm going to do various videos on the jobs that I got fired from. So this would be the first episode. So um, I have not always been a stripper. I have had, um, I guess, the societal, ex the society, the accepted by society, society types of jobs. So I've, I used to work at Marshalls. I worked at a, um, I worked at Delia's in the mall. This was in Kansas. I worked in um, Delia's. Um, I worked at the food court, but that was when I was like mad young. After the food court, like I ended up dancing. So today we're gonna talk about um, my, I guess first job that I got fired from. And all of these jobs, I got fired for shit that was just ridiculous. Like I had no control over it. So anyway, here we go. Okay, so at the time, I can't remember how old I was. I think I was 21. I can't remember, but I had stopped dancing. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna take a break. Um, I had an event that happened. If y'all hear dogs, those are my neighbor dogs. Um, I had an event, a life-changing event, or I won't say life-changing, but an event that was life-threatening happened to me. And I decided, you know, I am not gonna deal with this anymore. So I decided to stop dancing and at this point in time i think i was dating somebody and they didn't like the fact that i was a dancer and this is when i was young so i was trying to like mold myself for this person and to be honest i had no business dealing with this person he was like 15 or 16 years older than me and i was a young ass adult anywho um i started working at harris casino I was so happy, like, wow, I, I got the job. And I actually had two roles. I was a cocktail waitress on the floor. So, as you know, the girls that be at the casinos, have you never been to a casino, like a real, like, on the boat type of casino? Like, if you've been to Vegas, you know what I'm talking about. If you live in a city where they have a boat or a casino, you know what I'm talking about. But I was a cocktail waitress with the cute outfit and um i walked around the floor i had a section and um i walked around the floor asking if people needed drinks or whatever and uh, i don't know how long i worked there i think i worked there for maybe nine or ten months i can't remember but it was a fun job it was it was great money i was used to living off of tips so this was great for me like we had tips. <laughs> so I got a um, an hourly pay and then I got tips. So when I worked at Harris, first of all, the first day I was late. I was about an hour late. No, I was about two hours late because they told me the wrong days. They wanted me to come in on a Thursday they told me a Thursday and I had it written down and they ended up calling me Wednesday. And I mean, early Wednesday, like five o'clock in the morning, Wednesday. Hey, so your first day, your first shift, like it started like 
now, literally 10 minutes ago, no, not 10 minutes, like 30 minutes ago, we're wondering where you are. And I stated like, I thought I wasn't supposed to come in until Thursday. I have it on my orientation paper that I do not come in for my first shift until Thursday. So they were like, oh, we see it now. We see in the email, just don't worry. Just take your time and come. Now I lived on the Kansas side and Harris is on the Missouri side. And that drive was probably like almost an hour. And in the winter time, it was straight bullshit. So I get to work and I just had a great time as a waitress. Um, I think because I got pretty girl, pri pretty girl privilege, whatever, I got to take advantage of the poker room. Um, I built uh like friendship relationships with some of the, the people who gambled. I remember the first time I got a $500 chip. I was like, oh my God, like I really have fun. But I used to get in trouble for the dumbest things. Like when I got hired, I had half a head, like not half a head, but I had my side shaved and it brought more attention to me because it was shaved. They definitely need a black girl on a squad. So they have, um, casinos always got cocktail waitresses that are from ages like 65 on down to 21. And I was one of the young ones and it was only two of us. It was a white girl, then it was me. And in this particular, area or i guess in kansas city at this casino i think it was like four filipino women it was three filipino women and one i think vietnamese and the filipino women be like uh are you mixed and i'm like yeah and it was like are you polynesian filipino like what's going on i was like i'm filipino and black and um they was like, oh my God. So they kind of took me under their wing and they was like in their forties and up. So they took me under their wing and they was like, this is what you do. Like when you get, when you get the, the poker room, high roller stuff, you need to go in there every 15 minutes and all this stuff. And I was just like, wow. I was really fortunate to have these women guiding me and telling me like what to do, how to do it. They taught me how to make the Vietnamese coffee. We used to be like, high off Vietnamese coffee. It was so much caffeine. All it was was coffee and it was like German coffee with um with what is it uh sweetened condensed milk. We will put a whole can. We will make a kettle of coffee and put a whole can of sweetened condensed milk because the Asians love playing this one game and they had to stay up. Like the longer you play the more money you get. So we would make the coffee straight for, for them and for us. So we didn't have to drink Red Bulls. We just, you know, drink the coffee. And all I know was one day I came in and I had just got a haircut and I had like designs, like just like squiggle, squiggles. Like it wasn't nothing. It was just like lines, two lines going through my head or whatever. And it was like, hey, so um, can you come in? We need to have a talk with you. And I'm like, okay. So they were like, so you're going to have to do something about your hair. And I said, what's wrong with my hair? They were like, well, you have designs in your hair. And I was like, okay, they're lines. They're little, they're squiggles. And they were like, yeah, but they could be like, considered gang signs what I was like okay I never knew that lines or you know curved lines would be considered gang signs and they were just like well you know it like takes away from the other waitresses and I'm like how when we have sections and they were like oh well we're we're gonna let you they skipped 
that and they was like look we're just gonna let you grow your hair out how long does it take you to grow your hair out i was like like two weeks and they were like okay just don't get any more designs and i was just like wait before i go if i was not a black woman and i had squiggles or the same design in my hair would you guys still think it was gang signs or would you still think that i was a gang member and the lady smiled you know how they do that passive aggressiveness and was like oh it's you know it's just our policy so i was like okay well whatever so the two weeks go by i'm constantly brushing my hair and then i get a fresh cut and then i let it grow out and i just brush it you know let the lines grow in and then i brush it so then I, my barber was like, let me put something in the back. And I was like, nah, 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 because they're not going to let me do it at work. They think I'm a gang. They think I'm gang affiliated because I'm a black girl with my hair, haircut. So let it grow in. And I had this one, I had this, I had like grew like a, a little relationship with this one guy who played poker. And at the time, this is when Willow song came out. I don't know how old y'all are, but Willow Smith had a song with my hair back and forth when she was like eight. And that was a hit song. And it was this dude that played poker. And he was like, Willow, he will always call me Willow. And I had a name tag. I had a name tag. He was like, Willow, can you stand here for about four, uh, five minutes? Because you're like, every time you come in, I hit. This is with poker. No, it was with blackjack. It was He was at a high roller table. So I'm like, um, I can't stay here for five minutes, but I can, get, I can stay here for two and a half minutes to work with you. And he was like, well, the other waitresses, they stay. I said, how about this? I'll stand next to you for two and a half minutes. And then... I'll stay in the room for five minutes taking orders. He was like, that's perfect. As long as you're in the room, I always hit. He hits, y'all. He he wins. He he wins. And he he in freaking two weeks, two and a half weeks, I got five hundred dollars. He was like, here. He just tossed it on my um my uh waitress thing. What the fuck that's called? Server platter? I can't remember. So he tosses it and I was like, uh, thank you. And he was like, no problem. You just, you just really good luck. And he was like, you part Asian? And I was like, I'm, I'm black and Asian. He was like, ah, oh, what a beautiful mix. It's something about that mix. And I was like, here we go with the fetishizing. So, <laughs> so I walk out and I didn't notice that the dealer was Asian and she was salty about me getting that tip. So I'm walking out and, did, you know, walking out. And next thing you know, I get called to the office. So I'm like, oh, here we go. So I'm back in front of my supervisor's face. And she was like, so we heard that you stood next to a, a customer uh, um a guy in the high roller room for five minutes i said no y'all can check the camera i'm not gonna explain myself but i did i said i did stand next to him for two two and a half minutes and i stayed in the room taking orders as long as i could and they was like you can't do that and I said, why not? So I had my supervisor and her supervisor in there. I was like, why not? Because if, as long as I did my rounds, got to everybody within the area, I should be fine. And when I say I used to hit them freaking sections like drinks, anyone need drinks? I'd be walking, 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 walking. And I remember I did it in Hills one time and people was sick. People was like, Waitress, waitress was like, your feet are going to hurt. No, baby, I did it in stilettos, honey. And they, like, that particular day, 
the supervisor, my supervisor, supervisor walked out and she was like, look, I'm not gonna write this down. Don't worry about it. Like the dealer got upset because she wanted the tip and you got the tip. And it's girls that stay at the tables all the time. So as long as you got your, your um, did your rounds within your time, you're fine. So then the supervisor comes back in because I think he had a call or something. So he came back in and was like, well, don't, don't try to um, stay in the rooms or anything like that. And before I left, I said, y'all could always check the cameras. And she was like, all right, we'll, we'll check the cameras. So I go back on the floor and no, actually that was like the end. This was basically the end of my shift. So I had to work the, that next day. That night they asked that same freaking night i remember it was like i had a morning shift that friday and then somebody called off and asked like hey can you cover my my shift and i i did it i covered her shift and i come in what's funny is that i seen that dealer i seen the same dealer and she was in the um locker room we have locker rooms. So it almost felt like the strip club, honestly. So anyway, I'm checking in and she go, I said, hi, you're, you were my lucky charm in the high rollers uh, section. And she goes, oh, really? And I was like, yeah, you were my lucky charm. You dealt that guy a good hand and I got a tip. And I didn't know that you felt some type of way because he tipped me instead. And she was like, huh? I said, yeah, I was I was told that you reported me for standing in the high roller room too long. You stated that I stayed next to the customer for five minutes when you know that I only stood there for two and a half minutes because I had a timer on my watch. And she goes, oh, I didn't know. Um, I didn't say that and da 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 I was like, listen, you don't have to lie to me it's okay like some we win some we lose some but you don't have to lie on me i said you're gonna block your blessings that way being like being like that and she goes no 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 i think they misunderstood i said it's okay i don't feel any type of way because at the end of the day I was blessed and I know sooner or later you will be blessed too, but you got to get rid of that negativity because all it's going to do, you're not, you're not going to win at the end of the day. And I said, I'll make sure next time that he's in and he's at your table that I'll put in a good word for you so he can make sure that he tip you. And she was like, oh, that's nice. That's really sweet. But I just want to let you know that I didn't tell. I didn't like tell on you. And I go, baby, it is okay. I want you to have a good day. We, I want you to have a good night at work. And I mean, you have a good night at home, wherever you're gonna go, I'm gonna go to work. And she was like, they got you coming in again? I was like, yeah, I got. I decided to take somebody's shift. And she's like, oh, okay. Anyway, I go about on the floor. So it was a couple on the floor you know i'm doing my rounds it was a busy night like i was like whoa i had never seen it this busy and it was a couple they were slizzard slizzard I, did i make up that word i heard that somewhere else but they were really really drunk and they called me willow next thing you know they're ordering drinks they're ordering they they order they had ordered drinks before four like when they got to me when they got in my section i didn't order drinks mind you when when that when that um when that dealer told on me i didn't get the high roller room for about two weeks so anyway going back to the um the couple they drunk and they asking for drinks and i was like yeah, um, you guys seem like you guys are having a lot of fun, had a lot of drinks. I can no longer serve you drinks. And they were like, why? Why? We want drinks from you. And I said, well, you're, you're in my section. And by the handbook, I can't give you any more drinks because you're pretty drunk right now. And they were like, 
oh, we're not drunk. Oh, maybe just a little bit, but it's okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it, Willow. I rem um, my brother said that you helped him hit, um, I don't know, hit a jackpot or something in a, um, in a high roller room doing blackjack. I said, oh, that was your brother? He was like, yeah. And she, the his wife was just like, yeah, he said, you look like Willow. You're so cute. You got the haircut, love the haircut, blah, blah, blah. So I go about my section to, you know, do my thing. And I get called to the freaking office again. What, fool? 